I can read. Beginning reading one. Pink Calicious and the Pink Catastic Zoo Day. One sunny Saturday, I squeezed my teddy bear tight. Guess what, Henrietta? I said, "It's Teddy Bear Day at the zoo." I'm bringing Fred," said Peter. At the zoo, we walked by the zebras. These guys could use a hint of pink. I said to myself. I waved my wand, and pink, a presto! A zebra changed the color of its stripes. Pink! I waved my wand at the lions. The hippos and rhinos came next. Pink, pink! I commanded. What are you doing, Pinkalicious? Asked Peter. I waved my wand at him too. Then I remembered the teddy bear picnic. I love teddy bears and picnics. Peter and I gave Fred and Henrietta teddy bear rides down the path. The teddy bear day fun was starting. We got bear-shaped balloons. We spread out a large blanket. We sipped honey tea and ate teddy bear cookies. Peter gave Fred a sip of tea too. Fred says this tea is very good. Said Peter. I couldn't wait to see the real bears, but when we got to the bears, they were all sleeping. It was boring to watch. Pinkalicious, Peter pointed. I looked up and gasped. Above us, a vine led from the monkey house to a field. One monkey was crossing over. The little monkey did tricks on the vine. She swung from side to side. She hung upside down by her tail. I didn't want Henrietta to miss out, so Daddy put her on his shoulder. I saw the monkey look at Henrietta. She clapped her hands and hooted. I had a funny feeling that something bad was about to happen. Oh no! I cried as the monkey swung down low. She scooped up Henrietta. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle, Daddy said, amazed. I watched as the monkey scurried over to the field. She thinks Henrietta is her teddy bear, Peter said. The monkey rocked Henrietta and gave her a big hug. Peter laughed, but I didn't think it was funny, not one little bit. I tried everything to get the monkey. To bring Henrietta back, I sang to her. I made silly faces at her. I even asked Peter to try speaking in monkey to her. Nothing worked. She kept on playing with Henrietta. You're making a monkey out of my teddy bear, I said. I'm sorry, Pinkalicious. Said Mummy, "The zoo is closing. We have to go." Oh no! This is unbearable. What about Henrietta? I said. I started to cry. We'll think of something, Daddy promised. I didn't know what else to do.
At home, all I could think about was poor Henrietta. I loved her so much. How could I explain that to a monkey? Suddenly, I had an idea. Quick, Peter, I said. I told him my plan. We got right to work. The next day, we got to the zoo bright and early. I found the little monkey right away. I have a gift for you, I said. I held up the snuggly sock monkey that Peter and I had made. Now watch me, I told the monkey. I gave the new toy a squeeze. The monkey hugged Henrietta. I patted the sock monkey's head. The little monkey patted Henrietta. I tossed the sock monkey into the field. The monkey tossed Henrietta over to me. I picked up my teddy bear, and the little monkey picked up her new friend. Goodbye, I waved. It was fun monkeying around with you.